Y vamos a tener más cosas. Sí. I'm going to probably bring the sneakers. I'm not sure. And she said, you know who I am? Some bee shot me up when I'm like, maybe I should. I don't know. Unless it's a long video. Okay. Yeah, I've got my car Jordan, just don't have them yet. But she can give her my number. I mean, I can get y'all some cards as soon as they get here. Yeah. I ordered them last time. I'm on for a report. I didn't know. Okay, so this is Holly. Um, she's going to be the model for the day. And we just cut 19 inches of her hair off. So now I'm going to this so y'all can see it. We just cut it off of the shoulders here. We're fixing to take it off where it's even shorter. But here's her ponytail where we just cut all that off. Okay. So I'm going to part her off in five sections. And we're actually going to go ahead and do the cut first. Before we start coloring it, well, I can see where I want the color to be placed. And we'll cut off in five sections. And then three in the front and two in the back. Stock in the back. Sorry, not stock in the back. That took while. Yeah. Um, and then the front, what do you want your right here? I can't remember. Um, yeah. So the way she's wanting to get it cut, I'm going to part this off in two right back here. So the way she's wanting to get it cut is she normally gets this spot back here in the back. Um, and then she'll get it kind of down at an angle into her chin there in the front. So she'll wear it messy in the back, and then she'll just kind of have it fluffed up on the top, going down into her angle. So first, we're going to get her bottom down. We're going to go ahead and get the perimeter guide so that we can see the whole guideline for how we're going to put the entire haircut down. We'll pull the top down so I can see which way she parts it. <laughs> so, um, with this hair cut, I like to go ahead and part it in part. I usually do this cut. I usually do this in the same part. Yeah, I got this. I guess I just got it. I can go back more than a minute. So she usually does a zigzag part whenever she does this haircut. So I just come in here and zigzag her part. And I'm going to put this back up. Still leaving the premium down of everything. Now this side. 
Even the ground around. And lift it. Just pop back up. Okay, so now I've got to flip it off the way I want it to be. Okay. So all this haircut is is like uh, a 90 degree haircut and then you've got like a stacked haircut in the front. It's just a short version of it. So first thing I'm going to spray it and go ahead and cut the back of it to get my length. And we're going to get the print guide all the way around first. Okay. So I'm going to go right here to her neckline and I'm going to cut that just straight across it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind, y'all can't talk. <laughs> Next one, Arthur. Sorry, I didn't go along. <laughs> All right, so I'm cutting that whole bottom there off. I'm establishing my length in the back. Okay. So now I want to come around to the sides. I'm going to start going down at an angle. Okay. I'm going to take this side part right here and pull it down. And I'm going to go with this guide right here. Okay. You can also take that section and over direct it back and cut. But in order to establish the guide in the front, you need to figure out where she wants it to hit. So we know she wants it to hit right here at her chin. So I'm gonna come to chin and I'm gonna cut that off. Now I have a front guide and a back guide. So now all you have to do is connect those two dots. So now I'm gonna pull this back. Just make sure it's calm smooth so that you can see what you're doing. So now I see my front and I see my back. So I'm gonna come down at an angle into my front guide. So now it's going to angle down. So if you have any little corners or anything, you can take and just take them off. Okay. So now I'm around to the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. And once again, we're going to come down here and cut this straight across. Now, in order to figure out this length on this side, I'm going to, have to come around to this side and I'm going to have to measure it. So I'm going to make, I usually start about right here. I'll pull that section out. I've got to pick my longest piece in there and a piece of my shortest piece. I'm going to start right here, the sideburn. I'm going to pull it down. And I'm about five and a half inches. So I know on this side, when I cut it, I need to make sure I cut five and a half inches. So I'm going to go to that same spot there. That I went on that. I'm going to take about an inch section out, go right there to the sidebar, go down five and a half inches, and cut it off. So then now that's your guide on this side, and you get them even. Okay, so I'm going to pull that section back to the back. Let me get this off to five and a half to. There we go. I'm going to over direct this section right here back. 
Now you're just gonna have to cut an angle from this guy to that guy. Okay. Well, this, I'm gonna cut an angle from that guy to that guy. So now I have my angle on this side. Now, once you've got done with your guide and you know your lengths of how you want it cut, <laughs> you're gonna play the top down and we'll start getting, start getting the guide for the top. Well, I like pull my sides down, and this is where I was talking about putting it in the part. I'm pulling down so I can put it in my part. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my sides here the length I want. The whole side. Over there at the back and cut. Over there at the back and cut with that guy. Same thing on this side. I'm going to take this section, calm it down. I already know my guys in the front, I already know my guys in the back. So I'm just going to over drag this down. There's my side guy. Okay. Pull it back. I'm just cutting with that back guy. Getting it even. So I'm just making sure this is even with my chin point. And I always leave myself a little wiggle room so that when I'm layering it, if something goes wrong, I can always take off a little bit more. So I'll leave myself a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm just pulling this down. And I'm making sure I cut off that. Okay. Now I've got my length on my side cut. I'm going to pick up the very top part of this section. And you're going to make sure you get a little bit of both sides. So I know in the back, it's usually about two to three inches longer than this back part. So the front, obviously, we're going to leave it a little bit longer. Because it's got to run into the side. So I'm going to come here to my top. From the back, I'm going to measure out about four inches. Like I said, leave myself a little wiggle ring. So I'm going to measure four inches. From back, holding that palm up, measuring four inches. There's my four, and there's my guide. I'm going to cut and cut it off about. It's leaving about five inches that I'm cutting off. <laughs> okay, so now I have my side guide. Okay. Now I took it out of a zigzag part, so I'm going to come back in here and zigzag that part. And then I'm going to put those sides off. I'm going to pull a little bit of those sides back here to the back so that I have a top guide to go by. And then I'm going to clip the sides off. Take my side, take a little bit of that to put it in the back, and shift this side off. Okay, so then I'm going to comb all this back. I'm going to make sure I split it in two, making sure I'm putting a little bit in each section. Splitting it in two. Making sure I'm putting a little bit in each section. Just make sure I'm following this so I take it back there. Now I'm going to spray this and go ahead and start cutting it at a 4590. Okay, 
Okay. I'm going to come down here, hold this at a 45, setting it with that bottom guy. And I'm going to do this across the whole back, holding it at a 45. Uh, yeah, look down a little bit. You know, you can get them to look down a little bit. That'll kind of help you get down here at the night good. And they'll help you be able to see it. So I'm just going 45 straight out from the head on this whole back here. And I'm getting that tapered in close. Did you get a good start? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now that you got that at a 45, we're going to go ahead and walk it up to a 90. Because remember, all this is going to spike up, so you want it to be the same length so that it doesn't like it's got high and low spots in it. Okay, I'm gonna hold it horizontally because I to make sure that I don't see any long spots in my haircut. If I do, I'm gonna lift them off. Holding it horizontally and off the long spots. So now once you've cut all the back, the length you want it, then you're going to pull down one of your sides. It doesn't matter which one, just whichever one you're comfortable with. You want to throw that down there. And start here in the center. <laughs> and now I'm just going to walk from my bottom guide to my top, to my top guide. Okay. So there's my bottom guy, and now I'm just going to Just following that guy straight up. Okay. And then now I found my top guy, bottom guy, top guy, and meet those two guys. So then I'm going to take my next section and do the same thing. Start down here at the bottom at a 45. Cut all that off. Walk it up. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing is following that guys. Once I've reached my top guide, I'm going to stop and drop it. Going here on the side, just picking up another set. Bottom guide. Good. And walk it up to my top guide. Okay. Now my very last section, I'm gonna pick it up. Bottom guide. You know, normally we tell you not to over direct this section, but when you're doing this haircut, you don't want to over direct it. You just want to pull it straight out from the head. This is a disconnected haircut, so it's okay to not over direct it because you want it to spike out here on the sides. Okay, so now we've got this whole side cut. Now we're going to come over here and go into my other side. Okay. So I'm going to pull this side down. Spray it. Stick 
take it up down here to 45. There's my bottom guy. Okay. And just keep following that guy till you get to the very top. It cancels out back now. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to take my next section and do the same thing. Just keep following those same steps you've been doing. Just doing 45 at the bottom, cutting all that length off. Then you're walking it up into 90. And you're just pulling it straight out where it lives. Okay. So I'm gonna take my very last section here. Like I said, uh, most of the time we tell you to over direct it back, but this this haircut you're not going to. You're just gonna pull it straight out from the head and cut. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our whole back cut where we want it. We're probably going to have to come back and take more off here in a minute, but that's fine. We want to get our sides cut before we start taking more off. Um, so I'm going to come around here to my front. I'm going to spray it. Because now we have to get the side blending in with the back. So now, instead of your guide normally being from down here, your guide's going to be from up here where the layers are. So you're going to take that front end of that guide on the side. Okay. The reason I'm getting my razor is because I want it to be more wispy instead of a choppy, chunky cut right there. So all I'm gonna do is come here from this guy, and I'm gonna slither it down at that angle. So I know that I wanna keep my length the same here in the front, or I wanna keep it right underneath her chin. So I'm just making sure as I'm layering it down that I'm not going higher than the chin. And I'm just following that guy, moving my razor down. Okay, so now I've got my length here blended in with my sides, and I'm going to go start layering it to get all that blended in. So you take a vertical section, I'm going to over direct it back, and then I'm going to use that bottom guide from the back and walk it up until I hit my top guide. And then done. Take my last section, I'm gonna over break it back. I'm gonna start at my bottom, bottom guide here from my side. So I'm gonna start at my bottom guide and cut. Then I'm just gonna walk it up some. Just keep walking it up until you see your top guide. Now see my top guide and I'm gonna cut and stop. So this right here needs a little bit more layering in it, so I'm gonna over break that forward and layer that just a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm gonna come around here to the opposite side and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'll get my razor. I'm going to follow this guy from the side, and I'm going to come down at that angle, making sure I'm not going any shorter than her. Okay. And so now we've got it to her chin. And I'm going to start laying it down. I'm going to check this side to make sure I got it or not. Which I do. 
and then I'll start layering it up. So I'm gonna take a vertical section. I'm just over breaking it back here to the back and using that bottom as my guide. Then I'm gonna lock it up. Same thing here, over directing it back some. I'm walking it up to the top guy. I'm going to pull this forward a little bit so that I can put a little bit more layering in that side there. And then now I'm done. So now I've got my sides cut the way I want them. And I've got my back cut the way I want them. So I usually just come here in the top and I will pick this back up. Make sure everything's even. And then I'm done. So now I've got the majority of it cut off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and color it. After I get done coloring it, then I'll come back and do finishing touches on the backs and the sides the way I want it. But I'm going to color it first because I want to see the way it lays. Okay.